one, two, and this. Yes! Stop. Ready yes. Ready yes. Ready yes. Ready yes. Ready yes. Woo! Oh. <laughs> Hi, I'm Zina. I'm Zach. I'm Kiara. Hi, I'm Leah, and this is Zula Chit Chats. Okay, so welcome to this episode of Chit Chats, and today we'll be talking about two different generations, which is Gen Z versus Millennials. So we'll be covering kind of like the differences between each generation and also talking about like why there are these differences and we'll cover it according to different categories. But actually, uh, before we start this video, right, how old are you guys? Why are you like that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm born in 1992. Okay. I'm born in 99. I mean, 1992. So? We're both 21. Okay. Yes, we're both 21. Yes. Yeah, we're all 21. You here? <laughs> oh, how are you? Oh, I'm the, I guess I'm the oldest here. Yeah, I'm not born in 1994. <laughs> yeah. But first of all, we want to uh, define what are the age ranges for like the different generations. Do y'all know at all about like the years? I know that the age range for mm. millennial is 1980s to 1995. Mm -hmm. And then Gen Z would be 1996 onwards. From source to source, it kind of differs also. So it's like sometimes also like don't know um, what is what. Um, well, I will define it for y'all <laughs> based on the universal sources like, yeah. okay i will just say that millennials are born from 1981 to 1996 which means it's from 38 to 23 years old and for gen z they are born from 1997 to 2012. with that context set in mind uh we'll talk a bit about the next uh Category. A lot of people talk about when they say millennials versus Gen Z, they talk about like all oh, the different slangs we use and the different apps that we are often frequent. Mm. Maybe like TikTok, Instagram, uh, YouTube, I would say maybe. Twitter? Mm. Twitter is still. Mm. Yeah. I think that our generation we mainly stick to Instagram, right? Yeah, like, do you have so much time to go so many apps? Oh, the apps TikTok! Yeah, actually, Instagram, I Twitter! Yeah. What, what is your opinion on TikTok? <laughs> oh my goodness, like, I do not know what that is. Because Instagram has been here for many years. Mm. But I feel like Gen Z's, just like their apps, right? <laughs> they are moving so fast That's true. that I cannot catch up. Mm -mm. I feel okay, like okay. TikTok is the new Instagram. Because kids nowadays, they don't really use Instagram anymore. So people make videos there and everything. Mm. And scroll through and like, like it and dance. It's like all the trends. Yeah, yeah. Like Renegade. I think that's more it's very, very popular now. Renegade. Yeah, yeah, Renegade. Yeah, yeah. Wait, I'm telling you, I stayed up until 1am last night just to learn this, you know. I already know the this part. Okay, oh my god, god. Punch, punch. Oh, yes. One, two, and this. Yes! I didn't understand the the excitement over TikTok, right? Until I just went on the app, then I just got lost endlessly <laughs> flicking videos. Yeah, it's damn addictive, yeah. right? It's so hilarious. It's just like it's pointless, like, but it's just everyone loves it. Mm -mm. I love it. Then uh, how about slangs? Snack the C C C C C C C C C at the back. Like looking like a snack. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, but and also like and and oh. I think that's a very very good <laughs> now and I oh. You don't know? No, I don't know what it's saying. It's a gap now. What is this scoo 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 thing? It's like an expression, you know? Okay. It's like when we say la and law as Singaporeans, these little girls okay. say Wait, how do you say again? Yeah. You see that a lot on TikTok comments, so you see videos, right? Yes, yes. Because, uh, I mean, people go like. Oh, yeah. you know my yes. first experience of this thing, right? Yeah. It was our video in Korea. When? When? Oh. Who said that? I saw the comments. They were like, "Kara is a visco girl." I was like, "Why? <laughs> what's going on? Like, what's a visco girl? What? Am, what is this with me?" <laughs> then I realized it's because I own a freaking hydro flask. Oh. And it came out in a video. None of my friends uses that like okay. thing. So mm. we use I think we use more millennial term. Okay. Yeah. Mm. We use like shoot all that, like mm. chi, like mm. some of the things you eat. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. To be honest, mm. I feel like I don't use slangs okay. a lot. Okay. But okay. thanks to my intern, mm. Yang Tzu, he's 20 years old this year. <laughs> I started using things like oof. <laughs> okay. I think that's common, yeah. And like boomer. <laughs> Oh, there's this thing, like people always say, okay, boomer. Right? Yeah. So when I nag at him, right, he'll just reply me with a, okay, boomer. <laughs> so the next category is actually interpersonal relationships. Mm. So for millennials, right, the common things that we mentioned are like that millennials like to settle down later in life and have high standards for an ideal partner, and uh, family is very important. 
Then for Gen Z, uh, y'all apparently fear commitment and will swipe left. They say a lot of surface level relationships, very individualistic and like to avoid labels. So with this being said, right, maybe y'all want to explain a little bit about whether you agree or disagree with it. I feel like personally, I subscribe to the thought about how millennials want to settle down later in life. Mm. I don't know if it's because I'm a millennial or it's because of my age. This part of time, I just put more focus in my career. I feel like, yeah, if a guy comes along, then yeah, sure, okay, whatever. Mm. But if he doesn't, then yeah, whatever. Mm-mm. I don't know if it's a millennial versus Gen Z kind of thing. Gen Z, right, the age group right now, I think because we are still considered pretty young, mm. so it's like we also don't have a reason to necessarily commit. So we just want the whole idea of like, oh, I have a arm candy. Mm-mm. And I think you guys have also been like exposed to the whole culture of like organic dating. Mm-hmm. Like. Whereas for us, we like right from the start, we've always been attuned to like, online dating. Yep, yep. Okay, definitely without a doubt, right? We are a generation of superficiality. Mm. We d- literally judge them by like their pictures. Like, like let's be honest, we look at Tinder, right? Mm. We don't even look at like the right up. We don't even look at the bio. Yep. We just look at the face and then we just swipe 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 swipe. Also to add on, right, because there's Instagram around. So mm. people's perception of love might change. Mm. Like they might think mm. that love is or oh, when you see this perfect couple bring the girlfriend to Maldives or holiday mm. or like buying expensive gift for each other. As in now I think millennials we use a lot of like dating apps and everything mm. also. I still I still feel that our dating habits were a bit different from yours now because I feel even at that time we didn't have the options of using Tinder or all these different apps. A lot of uh, people got together in JC, they stay all the way together because they don't have options around them to like, um, oh maybe I can date someone else in the meantime. I feel like at, when I was their age, I would still have the same yeah, love same, languages same, same, same. Okay. and also like labelling our relationships. So I have these two interns and they are very wholesome people I would say. So I'm very surprised how they would like date for so long and not want to label themselves oh, as really? like state. I'm like very confused. I said, hey, you wholesome couple, like why are you not labeled yet? Mm. Huh, don't tell me you are non-monogamous, ah. you know yeah, what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is that common for you also? Yeah, I see that a lot actually. Like yeah. they just call each other dates and like not want to pursue further than that. Mm. They say like what is wrong with not having a label when you're doing the same thing. Last time, like even if mutually exclusive, I will still want to be like, oh, I want to call this person my boyfriend. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't be like, Oh, we're just dating. I'll be so annoyed. What do you mean we're just dating? Yeah, huh? correct, correct, correct. <laughs> okay, so I'll move on to the next uh, category, which is workplace. The millennials seem to be more motivated by passion and purpose rather than a paycheck. So, like work-life balance is very important for millennials. Uh, millennials are very teamwork and collaborative in terms of like orientation or, at work and uh, tend to drop hop a lot. For Gen Z, I think a lot of y'all haven't gone into the workforce yet, la, mm. but your preference for when you go into a workforce is along the lines of motivated by stability and money. Uh, y'all are very competitive and independent. <laughs> Why is it all individualistic? But like, mm. that's what I'm saying here, okay? Not me. Ah. Do you all agree with this? I think I can start because I 100% agree with whatever was said. Like as a millennial, what I did was I really went for my passion because I subscribed to the the quote whereby uh, do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life thing. Mm-mm. I was forced to study econs mm-hmm. because my mom and my sister was like econs will get you to places but I'm like okay I, I study econs but no I don't like econs I want to be a writer that's mm-hmm. why I interned in ebook at not a very young age. Mm-hmm. Uh, for me I was my mom I wanted to go poly my mom was like no you go JC I just listened to her. After JC then I did quite okay for my A-levels right mm-hmm. and then um my mom was like, just go into the best course that you can get into. Mm. Which was like, business, which I didn't, I wasn't like 100% I want to study. I feel that, that because of that, we are very repressed in the sense that we don't pursue our passions earlier on. So after we graduate, we are like, fuck this shit, this doesn't work for me. And then we are like, <laughs> okay, I just 100% passion because we spend so much time investing in something really that we are not passionate about. I feel that uh, Gen Z people are still filled by passion. Mm. It's just that there is still this very, very strong el- element of like, the finance aspect. I like, oh, we, yeah, we, so we think a lot about money. Yeah. Oh, so it's calculated passion and mm. like feeling passion. We choose jobs based on our passion first and hopefully mm. it pays off in the end. Yeah. Mm. And if it doesn't pay off, right, we'll change to another like sector mm. or that will like give us a better pay. Career hopping, right? Yeah. I think that is very, very relevant to us as well. Okay. What I study has been like changing every institution that I, 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 I jump to and fro. Like. But won't it set you back again? Like you have to start from scratch the bottom of yeah. the ladder again. That's the thing. I feel mm. like they just change, right? But yeah. then it's like, Y'all are okay with starting again from scratch. I'm totally not okay. Yeah. I'll, be like, I'll be like, no way in hell am I giving up on this degree that yeah. I worked two years for. I just so I finish and then decide later. At least we are trying out. At least it doesn't have like regret. Don't have regret in the future. Ah, okay, okay, it's like okay. our parents telling us like, oh, because they didn't do this when they're younger, they hope they have done it. Oh, before. okay. Mm. That's why I think we steer us towards like the anger. Yeah, yeah, so I heard that Gen Z's 
uh, y'all are more individualistic, y'all don't like collaborative efforts. I love team spirit, but I know that some Gen Z's they subscribe to this uh, idea whereby if you want to get things done right, you do it yourself. What do you think? Yeah, what do you think? I don't like or hate it in any way. I just like, oh, if there's a group work, there's a group work. Like. When it comes to individual work, it's true that I can steer my own direction. When teamwork doesn't happen, right? Like, there have been presentations, right? After the presentation, right, they, they, f they flung the presentation. And then it's just, they just full out cry and scream across the class, like, Oh it's just, just like, so I guess then it's a bit individualistic yeah, in that sense, there's a right? Difference, yeah. Uh, yeah, cause it's like if you if someone fucks up on your end, right? They kind yeah. of you will call like you will tell the person like fuck your it's your, your yeah. I, I think call culture, mm. call culture in Gen Z is very very prominent. Yeah, yeah. Mm. because for me, I will be like oh suck thumb long. Yeah, like, same. Like, I'll yeah. tell my other team members yeah. like okay, one for all, all for one. Yeah, we just yeah, do yeah. his work. We just pull his. Right, right, right. Yeah, same, same, so, same. Mm. Yeah, so for your is your yeah. coin like hey. Uh, yeah. and, you then, know? and we of course first stage always is sit down and talk, and then yeah. it's like cannot right. There's no there's no stage two. Right? It's just fight with each other. Wow, well that's scary. I'll be very scared to be in like the environment. I would not want to do anything. It's very competitive lah. It is, it is. Oh, Super. that's another thing. You yeah. are very competitive very as well. Like, yeah. I'll move on to the last category, which is more about social issues. So, uh, society, as well as how you feel about yourself in comparison to the society. Like for millennials, uh, we focus a lot more on ourselves and we care about societal issues, but at the same time, I think Gen Z care about societal issues more. Gen Z fear climate change the most. They care about a lot of social issues and believe in. Uh, efficacy of dialogue to solve conflicts. So basically having conversations. Uh, what do you guys think based on the stereotypes? I think right, we first need to understand what are the motivations behind them being uh, or like championing for certain causes. The unfortunate thing is that a lot of them are just hopping on the bandwagon okay. for the sake of like Trends. Yeah, for the sake of trends okay, and to fit in. Yeah, for clubs. clubs. Correct. Especially during the metal straw movement period, mm. right? A lot of people bought metal straws for mm. the sake of using them. I see. In the end, right, you buy all this, right, it's gonna accumulate and it's gonna uh, leave more carbon footprint than mm. external mm. plastic. Yeah. That's true. So basically the term, like what I mentioned was that you guys support all these social issues and activism, but sometimes it's like supported blindly. Yes, mm. it's like empty mentioned? support. Okay, mm. understand, understand. I feel like Gen Z's are more global citizens mm. and then millennials, we are more of global spectators. But oh, okay, we don't okay. support all these society or environmental cause as much as they do which I really respect lah. I think one good thing about that right is that because you guys voice out a lot for these issues right like people who are older like they spectate but they are become aware mm. yeah, yeah so it's like true. it brings awareness to like a lot of different parties so I think it's good it's a good movement you shouldn't just do it because it's trendy yeah, yeah so that's the biggest concern that I would say I have so speaking of causes please go donate to Big Cross and uh, Australian Wildfire just oh, <laughs> it's just a random yes. thought that I just thought about it because like Salvation I just donated the other day okay. yeah mm. because of the social media platforms that we have also we are able to uh, increase the awareness for such movements mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it rubs off like their, their enthusiasm has rubbed off on us to like also yes we need to focus on these things I think we all are conscious of what we are doing yeah, yeah, yeah. I just hope that yeah, we are all more accepting mm. yeah. Yeah, at the end of the day right these are all just labels mm. like uh, we need to move beyond the labels la. Yeah, yeah. you can define someone by like oh you are Gen Z yeah. you know the kind of thing mm, yeah. Yeah. Like, there's no right or wrong but it's just like different in how we are brought up yeah, yeah. Mm. We'll conclude the video here. So today we talked about like Gen Z's versus Millennials and the conclusion is basically that everybody needs to understand each other so they can work in harmony for a better society. Wow! Amazing! <laughs> no shake, shake. And with that said, uh, leave in the comments down below if you like the video and also if you agree or disagree with us, if you have any traits you feel are more suitable for Gen Z, more Millennial, we would like to know in the comments and also let us know what else to talk about next time. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe! Bye-bye! E-book! <laughs> <laughs> is it you purposely right? You're just waiting to say that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. Follow TSL on TikTok. Yes. <laughs> okay, bye. Mm.